Hello guys and very welcome to this video. Today I am going to uh, put in a heater system to my battery. The days are getting shorter and shorter and the last night we actually did have some night frost here. So it's uh, highly time to install some kind of battery heating to my ID3 battery that now are providing my house with power. So I have bought some parts here that I am going to show you. So well, let's start this up. And as always, very welcome. I have also been at the junkyard again and bought some hoses and uh, expansion canister here. So uh, hopefully I can use those to hook up to my battery. Uh, I have these special connection types that actually are the same on the battery so my hopes were, were that I could use those to have a nice looking system when this is ready. So let's go out to the battery and take a look at it and see what I have to do to get this to work with the battery. Alright guys, here are my hoses and uh, here are the terminals or the connection points where I am going to attach my hoses to. So uh, here you can see that we have some locking pins so it will not come off when this is installed. This will only fit in one direction on my connection points here because the terminals here or connection points are coded so it will only fit in one direction like this and uh, I would uh, yeah, you can see that we have some pretty big bending going on here I don't like that I want this to be nice and slim so uh, here are some other ones we have the same problem with this but this one here is much better so I am going to go with this one here and I think that I have to remove this connection and then file off this coding points. So we have a swivel connection on the left one here. Then it will be something like this when that's gone. All right, let's do that first. Now it's coming. It's a pretty nice system, but when you work with old cars that have those installed, it is sometimes very, very hard to get them off because the O-rings inside here tends to, to stuck to this connector here. Alright, so my plan here is to remove those, so let's do that. Uh, 
like so. And uh, the important thing is to not hurt this area here because it is here where the o-ring is sealing everything up. So do not scratch. I will not scratch anything here. Hopefully I don't do that anyway. And now we have the other one here, the smaller one. Like so. And I will just clean this up a little bit. Okay, let's go out to the battery again. Also have to separate those. So something like this. And uh, let's see where I should put my heater. So my battery to my GoPro did just die, but I have just finished this little pipe that I will use to connect those 90 degrees hoses together because I need a U-turn on those hoses. So uh, here is what I ended up with. This is just stainless steel. So uh, what I did there before the GoPro died was just that I uh, pressed the pipe so I had those kind of expanding stuff so the hose don't just drift off or slip off. So let's connect everything and uh, see how it will end up here. So here I have my little pipe and uh, here are the hoses that I would like to connect together like so. First, I will see if I have any clamps to have around them. Something like that. So here it is guys, all the hoses are in place, 
and I just have to fill up the system and do the wiring but uh, that will be in the part two of this video make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of that thank you guys for watching and I really hope that I see you next time take care and goodbye